Good day everyone. So we are already familiar with the major parts of the thesis, which is the body or the text. However, to be able to complete the entire thesis, there are other important parts that must be included, and that will be the preliminaries and the back matters of a thesis. The preliminaries consist of the following pages. The title page, approval sheet, dedication, acknowledgements, abstract, table of contents, list of tables, list of figures, list of maps, list of pictures, and list of abbreviations and acronyms. The title page should contain the following. The title of the thesis or dissertation. Next, the name of the author or the researcher. So the name should appear on the title page as it is shown in the school's official record. Next, the college to which the thesis is submitted in partial fulfillment of the requirements for the degree and last will be the date of approval of the thesis or the degree is to be conferred. So the title page is assigned Roman numeral lowercase but the number does not appear on the page. So it is also recommended that word substitutes be used for formulas, symbols, superscripts, subscripts, Greek letters, and other similar material. Here's an example of a title page. So from this example, the first line of the title of thesis must be typed six spaces from the paper stop margin. The title must be typed written in inverted pyramid style, 14 point, aerial, and all caps. And then after six spaces, the name of the institution to which the thesis is being submitted and another six spaces for the qualification for which the thesis is submitted and eight spaces before the name of the researcher and two spaces before the date of approval of the thesis or the degree is to be conferred. Next will be the approval sheet or approval page. So this page certifies that the thesis has been duly approved. It contains the following. The name of the proponents, the title of the thesis, the names and signatures of the advisor, college dean, and members of the oral defense panel, and also the date of approval. So here's an example of an approval page or approval sheet. Next, the dedication page. So this is an optional page that gives the author the opportunity to dedicate the manuscript to an individual or group. So there are so many ways which we can easily address a dedication. For example, this is dedicated to, I would like to dedicate my work to or I dedicate this book to. So here's an example of a simple dedication page. Next, the acknowledgement page. This portion of the thesis paper recognizes or provides thanks and appreciation to all those who have helped and guided the researcher in preparing the thesis. Some guidelines in writing an acknowledgement page are the following. First, Use the appropriate tone and form. It can either be a list or a more fluid paragraph and address each person individually or more personally. Second, start with the most important people or teachers. Third, list other helpers. Fourth, address financial aid that you might have received and last, Put more personal thank yous and emotional supporters last. Avoid overly personal anecdotes and inside jokes in an academic acknowledgement page. Illustrated here is an example of an acknowledgement page. Next, the abstract page. It is concise and summarizes the contents of the paper or manuscript. So its purpose is to introduce the topic to discuss how the researcher did the research, 
the results of what was done and its implications. Therefore, it should contain a statement of the research problem, the assumptions and hypotheses, if any, and the major findings and conclusions or recommendations. So for the format of an abstract page, the word abstract should be centered at the top of the page. It should not be more than two and a half pages long, and it should be signed by the writer and approved by the thesis or dissertation advisor. Next, the table of contents. It is a sequential listing of all major parts of the thesis with corresponding page numbers. Included in the table of contents are the titles of chapters, sections, and subsections, bibliography, and appendices. Also included are the titles of the preliminary pages as well as the required forms. It should be appropriately formatted. The main section should be listed as well as the title of each chapter. All titles and headings must match what appears in the text correctly and all page numbers must be correct. So for the format, the term table of contents must be centered. The item page numbers should align at the right margin. So follow the spacing guidelines included in the chosen style manual. The page number right aligned. There are leader lines or dots connecting the entries with their page numbers. The list of tables page includes a comprehensive listing of titles of all tables found in the body of the thesis with indication of the corresponding page numbers. So the word table or list of tables are written with initial caps only. They are followed by the number of the table or illustration and then the title. The numbering of tables and figures may consist of two parts. For example, 2.1 or 5.11, where the first number refers to the chapter number and the second number refers to the sequencing of the tables or figures within the chapter. So this is an example for the list of tables. Next, the list of figures. It includes the titles of pictures, charts, graphs, maps, and other illustrations used in the thesis. So specific items consisting of 12 or more must be listed separately. For example, if there are more than 12 illustrations, then there must be a separate list of illustrations. And list the exact title or caption of each figure and its corresponding page. Figures should also be numbered in sequence. Here's an example for the list of maps. and an example for the list of pictures. Next, the list of appendices. It includes the list of additional information included in the thesis, such as survey results, previous reports, findings, relevant letters, memo forms and documents, computer printouts and other pertinent documents. Appendices should be arranged chronologically as they are cited in the main text. Use capital letters of the English alphabet to track appendices and always begin with the letter A. The last portion for the preliminary pages will be the list of abbreviations and acronyms. So the list of abbreviations, acronyms, symbols, or special nomenclature used in the thesis are listed for easy reference of the reader. So for the second part of my report will be the back matters of a thesis which include the bibliography and appendices. The bibliography lists down the written references and interviews, if any, used in the study. There are various ways of presenting bibliographies. In general, these are presented by broad categories including books, articles from journals, magazines, bulletins, pamphlets and newspapers, official documents, and websites. The list of references is numbered and arranged alphabetically. For the format on the writing of references, 
the APA style of documentation shall be followed. After the bibliography is the appendix or appendices. Usually included as appendices are the following. Description of sampling techniques used. Research instruments. Detailed statistical tables. Copies of forms or letters. Discussions of technical problems. Text of laws, circulars, and memoranda, and such other information that are either too detailed or could not otherwise be fitted into the discussions in the text. That would be all for my report. Thank you and God bless.